All right, welcome back to the shop. Welcome to summertime. It is full on summer now. Finally got the rain and the super hot, hot temperatures out of the way. We had fluctuations of 50 degrees, It'd be raining one day and 60 degrees, the next day it's 95. And now it seems like it's gonna be 80 for the next foreseeable future, which is perfect. 80 degrees, no humidity, I love it. So we're out in the yard of the shop. This is the two-stroke turbo channel. If you haven't figured it out, we've got the recovered, stolen recovered S10 that's been damaged. Haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with that. Got a Nissan Figaro with no oil pressure there. Still having trouble with that have a Honda Civic two-door hatch there that actually runs pretty good needs a little bit of work this Accord needs work the passenger side is completely t-boned the recovered theft recovered Honda CRV that had a bunch of drama now has a rebuilt cylinder head and I'm waiting for a new ignition distributor I don't know how that could go bad when I was sitting but no longer has spark once I get one of those, should be able to fire this up and get it, a new radiator in it and hopefully get it back into either the hands of the customer that owned it prior or one of the kids want to drive it back and forth to school. I'm not sure on that. Got a few more parts for the willies back there. And sorry about that, the garbage truck's going by. It's pretty loud. Uh, both the key vans are doing good. The Mustang convertible is doing good. Working on a truck. This is a big old Silverado. Silverado, Cheyenne. What is it? It's a big old mid 90s. I think it's a 95 truck. And it has the typical GM paint on it. This is the original paint. And you can see it's just flaking like crazy. I don't typically do paint for customers. I'd paint my own stuff. But this customer has been very patient, very good customer for many years and really wants me to do it. So I'm going to do the hood and the roof up there. You can see the right above the windshield start to peel. Actually, the whole roof start to peel. So I think I can mask it off, sand it down, blend it, fill it, whatever I need to do here. She actually tried putting primer on it and that actually held up a little bit, but it's just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna sand it down and shoot it with some 2K or single stage white, even though it probably won't be the correct shade. It will be probably a brighter white, or maybe. It should look better. But I gotta do something for her. She really wants me to do it. And ah, painting is just, it's tough. Sometimes it takes so long if you have a reaction. And I just don't know my way around painting that. I mean, I can paint a car after I sand it down and do all the steps. But I don't really like doing it for customers because I just don't know what I'm gonna get into. But she's aware of that. So that's kind of a new thing that I'm working on is a little paint job. It is going to be painted here in the open air shop or outside and it is summertime so we have 70 degree temperatures which is where auto body materials work best so I got to get to sand on this thing um, quit chipping it off with my fingernails like I'm doing here as you see uh, and get to work so I thought you guys might like to see a before video of what this thing is like you can see on the roof here I think I just showed you same things chipping like crazy just peeling and there's a big spot here which is I'm gonna have to blend that somehow old truck is worth it let's see if we can get her done oh my Where do you even stop? I don't know if this is such a good idea. Okay, well, it didn't take long to figure out that the original paint is not worth keeping. It just blows off. It just comes off in sheets. It's ridiculous. So it's all got to come off. I was going to try to just sand it down. In some areas it actually is okay, but I've just been using a wire wheel and it's just been coming off. You can look at the parking lot everywhere. Look at the back 
the bed. And then I got the roof done already. Came out pretty good. Just goes right down to the factory e-coat and then I'll probably scuff that and then prime it with some epoxy, probably white epoxy, and then we'll paint the whole thing. Do it right. Oh, if I can never get out of the truck, falling out. All right, so it's many hours later. I've got the hood stripped, the roof stripped. Well, I have this little spot left and we're going to it. It comes off pretty easy, but it just takes a while. <laughs> Have known better it just I couldn't put anything on this I just didn't have it in me I can't do a cheap job I gotta strip it down to bare metal and build it back up even though I don't like painting customers cars that's the way it goes okay so I finally got all the peeling paint off the hood and the roof and you can see where I had my protective tape here on the fender when I pulled it off I pulled the paint uh, all the way along here around the door and of course top of the roof. That wasn't supposed to happen. Paint is just so awful. So let's see. Get up here. I'm getting ready to prime this thing. I've got to find some masking tape that's a little less sticky and I'll mask this thing up and give her a shot of white epoxy SPI high build primer and then some white single stage and we'll call it good. I think we're gonna call this video good because I'm a little bummed how much chips are out here and how this is not going how I thought, but we'll get through it. I always do. All right, so it's day two or three or four, I'm not sure. First coat of primer is on the hood. I had a couple runs here because it was so hot. It was 103. I had to sand that down. The whole hood's been resanded on the primer with 240 on a DA. And there was a couple spots on the roof that I had to sand too, like right up in here but it's looking pretty good. It's already looking shiny. So second coat of primer, possibly three coats of primer, then a single stage coat, top coat, and possibly a coat of clear. So let's get working. It's gonna get hot again today. It's 87 in the shop right now. I gotta take advantage of this cool weather. All right, I guess I'm a devil for the details. We got three coats of primer on the roof and five coats on the hood. And if you look close in the reflection of the light there, you can see I got a little heavy. I'm gonna sand that down. There's a little bit of a run there. It's not smooth like this side. See the difference in the lights there? See the light reflection? Look at that, and look at this. See how it's a little more cloudy and pockmarked? I'm gonna let that dry. Maybe I'll let it dry overnight, I'm not sure. And sand it with three, three, 40 or whatever and uh, then we can paint it. Okay, I don't know where we are on painting this truck. It's been days. We had 103 degrees for the last seven days and it just was awful, taking me forever. Heat really slows a guy down. It's now 85 degrees and raining? It never happens here, but it feels like Florida, but it is. And we've got the truck finally Finally, three coats of primer on the roof, five coats of primer on the hood, and it's sanded to 320, I believe. Yeah, 320 on a DA. Looks really good. I'm gonna tack it off, wipe it down, shoot it, and I'm hopefully I'm done with the roof and the hood. And then I've gotta work on patching the fenders. Oh my gosh. This thing has taken 10 times longer than I thought it would. Let's hope, let's hope the weather holds. All right, first, first top coat's on. Let me remove my mask here a little bit. I still fresh, hood looks great, came out great. There's a few little pimples and things, but we're, we are painting in an open shop. I guess that's to be expected. The roof actually looks a lot better. It only has one coat, the hood has two, so we're gonna let this tack up and we're gonna give it a whole nother set of coats. I want this thing to be shiny and nice and the paint very durable. We'll keep going. Put my mask back on. All right, three coats of paint on the hood, five coats of primer plus stripping. 
came out really good. It's nice and shiny. I did get a little bit of a run right here. We'll see what happens after it dries. I can fix that. And there's some drips on the underside. You see right there? Right, right there. I can shave those off. The roof actually came out better. No dust, no dirt. Looks awesome. Really, really happy with that. Hood? Eh, it's good. I think it's going to be fine. I don't think I'm going to clear it. All right. How long has it taken me to paint this thing? Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's time to unmask the old truck and see if I did the customer a service or a disservice. As you'll recall, where I peeled the masking off last time with regular scotch tape, it actually pulled the paint, the factory paint from the doors. And that was a big bummer, sort of a booby trap surprise. The blue tape doesn't stick as bad and doesn't seem to pull up the factory paint. The customer was aware of it, she's okay. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna sand these spots, prime them, and just airbrush in some top coat. And she understands we're not painting the whole truck, just the roof and the hood. And those parts came out great. That is our new roof and that is our hood. It looks fantastic. A little overspray in a couple areas. I'm not sure how that happened, but my masking needs to get a little better, I guess. And uh, the hood or under hood looks great. It completely did not get sprayed white, which is nice. So let's finish pulling this paper and hopefully we don't pull all the paint off. That would be really bad. Okay, I'm not sure what day this is. Day four, five, ten. It's kind of ridiculous. I've been working on this truck for a while. The hood came out beautiful. Love it. It's perfect. Roof, same thing. Came out perfect. So now I'm sanding with uh, Scotch Bright 800 grit 3M pad. Uh, just touched up these paint pull marks, and I'm going to airbrush. I got a mast off. I'm just going to spot over them and see how it comes out. I don't know if I should primer them or not. Uh, this is kind of the primer underneath here, um, but I just don't want to get a bunch of overspray and stuff. So everything that you see is masked, cleaned. Of course, I just touched it with my finger. Got some oil in there, and uh, touch these up, and that should finish this truck. I'm so tired of working on it. I'll never do this again. Anyhow, the hood come, came out really great. It's sat for a day now. Looks fantastic, has really good shine. Not a lot of trash, it's right off the gun. No buffing, no fixing of any types. Uh, the run that was here sort of worked itself out. Sat out in the sun yesterday and it baked. It looks really good. So I'm hoping the same thing will happen with fixing these fenders. It's a little different, a little brighter white. I think it's gonna look, it'll look better. That's all we can hope for. And I thought I'd just show you what's going on here. So. At the top of this pillar, the paint was all peeling. I've taken my detail gun here, filled it up with single stage white. And I just kind of, if you look close, you can see where the peeling paint was. It looks pretty good. So I've got to go over this area. And I've given this fender a coat there. You can see the spots. I'm just going to keep doing that, but uh, I've been using my little detail gun as an airbrush, pulling the trigger like just a little bit, haven't been wearing a mask, just touching it up. Not, i got a lot of airflow going, so I'm not worried about breathing it, um, and it seems to be working good. Okay, so the truck is looking really good. You don't see it too much. You'll probably see it a little more if you pick at it, look closely in the sunshine. Tops of the fenders, A pillar, cross top of the door and especially right back in here, we're peeling really bad. I might give them one more coat. And while I've got some extra paint in my gun, I'm gonna take care of this. Got a little spot on my van. There, 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 and right here. Got to take care of that as well. Got to keep your van looking good, right? van looks good you feel good <laughs> okay the truck is sitting out
pretty here outside. Are we done? I think we're done. Stella, are we done? Finally, after all this fooling around, we're done? Oh, gee, let's take a look and see how it came out. Oh, it's so bright, it's so white. Looks good, top of the fenders you can't really notice, top of the doors you can't notice. Oh, there's one spot I missed, I gotta get that spot right, right there. Not too bad, I mean, it, yeah, it catches your eye, but if you're really looking, looks great. Finally, the big white truck is not calico and peeling paint. It looks pretty darn good. I'm gonna give it a bath, I'm gonna vacuum out the inside, wash the windows, and I think we're gonna call it good. Hood came out fantastic, actually. I'm really glad that I took the time to strip it down to bare metal. Uh, nothing else would have worked. You can tell a little bit of a difference, but the hood is a little brighter white than the, than the uh, factory paint. Let's check out this door. I mean, you can see, but it's not terrible. It at least is all one color now. So truck's one color. I think she's going to be happy. I'm very happy that it's done. Oh, it's been a lot of work. Always takes longer than you think.